gallon aquarium again. Still on sale. This thing is nice. This tank is now 99.6% empty. I've left a thin layer of water, dirt, pebbles. I don't want... I want it clean. This guy... This guy wrote... This guy has so much stuff. <laughs> Look, folks. I'm a five foot four, 56-year-old man that dreamed of having an alligator snappy turtle in a high-end aquarium for a hobby, and I made it happen. So if you can do it... So if I can do it, you can do it. Call or text me. Email Brian at I am home today, Friday, and through the weekend. It should be polished and ready to go. That is when the clock will start ticking. And no, you don't have to pay me for the 20-plus hours of prep I will have in the tank. Price is $500 or or offer. No true lowball offers. It's $500 is a lowball already. This guy has so many rules. I'm not even going to bother you guys with this because he wrote, like, forever. And ever. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's so proud of cleaning it for 10 hours. I'm going to tell him it looks dirty. Brian, my man, with the aquarium. Brian with the aquarium. He's 54, so he is just old enough, to or 56, to not want to deal with any of my shit, I predict. Or maybe he'll be super sweet. He's either going to be grouchy, or he's going to be nice. We're going to hear about this turtle. Brian. Oh, this was a month ago, too, so it's probably. Hello. Brian. This is Brian. I knew it was. Uh, hey, Brian, you still got that aquarium? The aquarium is gone. God bless it. How? Well, nobody was interested in it, so I literally took a sledgehammer to it. <laughs> you did? <laughs> What? Well, I, I, we're getting <laughs> you, a divorce. You getting a divorce? I had to go. It was on Craigslist for like seven weeks. So, oh, it said you cleaned it for ten hours, and then you couldn't sell it, and then you just said, then you just sledgehammered it. Yeah, I had to. I had to reduce everything and have it taken out because it was uh, impactful to my house and my ability to to move on. So, mm -hmm. um, wait, your it wife was on there for on there for quite a while. So, yeah. Your ex-wife didn't want it in the divorce? Oh, no. No? no? She's not a nope. aquarium girl? Nope. Was it worth... I was going to give you a 1000 for it. Was it worth sledgehammering it? Did you feel better? Uh, well, no. No, it wasn't that. It was literally a function that, you know, I couldn't leave it with the house. You mm -hmm. can't leave stuff like that with the house. And, and it was a, a monumental task to get it in. And I had it on Craigslist for seven or eight weeks. Mm -hmm. I had a bunch of maybes, okay, maybe, but nobody's serious. So I just, I just dismantled it <laughs> and uh, recycled it. That had to be awesome. Did how many how many hits did it take to break? No, oh, uh, you know it's a pretty solid tank. It was probably about twelve years old. Uh, obviously, it held water for my turtles, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it took a while. Where's the turtles at? Alligator snapping turtle got sold and the common snapping turtle got sent to Louisiana to be released. Oh, wow. And it took me about eight hours to drain it and get all the rocks out and polish it up for somebody. And Which in nobody hindsight, wanted you didn't even need to do. You could have just smashed it earlier. Right, I guess, but. Wow. Well, you know, you don't know until you. Put it on Craigslist. That's what I always say. Right. Are you going to get another turtle or no? No, no, I'm out of that lifestyle. Nope. Uh, what happened? You just, because I'm thinking divorce. about get, you, but that the divorce made you hate the, turtles? No. The process of trying to, first of all, this tank that cost me $1,500 uh -huh. and, and $350 to have it uh, moved from the seller's place to mine. Mm -hmm. So for me to move it from this place on short notice to a potential new house was some was a risk and a, a condition that I wasn't willing to live on. Well, you should have. I mean, you couldn't. You told your wife that you get to keep the house because the aquarium's in there. I can't afford this house. Oh shit! So are you selling the yeah. house too? Yeah. How much? <laughs> How much for the house? 
Yeah, that's how. 210,000. Uh, how big is it? <laughs> 1,800 square feet. That's pretty good. How many bedrooms? Three bedrooms. Uh, is there a point to this? or? Well, I was going to buy your aquarium. Now I'm kind of interested in your house, but if you're not interested in selling it, then... You're, show, you're showing that you're from Denver, Colorado. So. Yeah, but I, I live in Des Moines now. It's this weird, oh, okay. weird thing with cell phones. You could take them anywhere. Oh, I know. I, know. I don't know. But, uh, People but, always say that to I, me. I'm like, it's crazy how cell phones work. Like, Have you ever left I, Des Moines? Well, no. I mean, I did get a lot of inquiries on the turtles and the tank from all yeah. over the country. So. I'm sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure even if I was in Denver, my Denver money would work, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, just didn't, want... I didn't mean, I no, didn't no. mean to make it. I'm just, I didn't mean to make it sound like that, but no, uh, I'm but, just yeah. joking with you, man. You've been through enough. Well, I'm sorry about the divorce, man. You got to get back out there. You got a new? Well, you found a new girl yet? No, I haven't. It's tough, and I'm <laughs> I'm on these dating websites. It's hard, man. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about that. I'm just trying to, you know, get my feet underneath my ground. You know, get the ground underneath my feet. But uh, yeah, but I appreciate your interest. I well, just uh, couldn't couldn't keep it going yeah it's i'm sorry man if i had a time machine i would go back save your marriage and then buy that aquarium <laughs> well sounds good you made my day with those comments all right anyway. man well i hope you have a great day talk to you later see you buddy Bye. i'll call you tomorrow you know <laughs> i didn't mean to snap at him but I'm getting pretty tired of this fucking cell phone thing that they don't first of all <laughs> this guy Divorce, man. He made him hate everything in life. This poor guy. <laughs> He's like, I got divorced. I hate turtles. I wonder if there's more to that story that the turtles caused the divorce. I don't know. I was trying to dig in there, but he is. Poor guy. I feel bad for him. I, I think I made his day a little better. I'll tell you what. I don't know if you guys have heard this, Craigslist, but the other day I was trying to trade a girl stuff. I was trying to just trade. I think it came, it's probably out by now. I never know the order of this, but if you guys remember when I tried to trade this girl, just all kinds of crazy shit for, I think she had a rat and she wanted a snake, but I tried to trade her all this stuff. She sent me this long, nice text about how I made her day and it was the worst week. And so, you know, maybe we're doing some good here. I like to tell myself that, but I mean, some people would just say I'm a fucking asshole bothering people. I don't know. But I hope we cheered him up a little bit. <laughs> I love he's like, I couldn't sell it, so I just fucking broke that shit into a million pieces. But then recycled it. I mean, that was a good dude. Whatever woman left him, you lost a good one there, Michelle. You let old Danny, Danny and his turtles get away.